He is the creative director of awesomeness for the Imagination Agency. Uh, and he is Martellus Bennett, along with his book, Hey, AJ, It's Bedtime. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you as well. Do I need to hold, push this up? Or? No, no, you're fine right there. Okay. There might, I think your voice is I counting. feel like Ricky Bobby when he didn't know what to do with his hands. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> just just sit there. And, All right. Is, is it, I have to turn to my, I guess, He's my, uh, my creative perfect. director of awesomeness of sound. He's fine? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Oh, good. How you doing? I'm excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Life is good? Life is always good. How's how this book come about here? I know that you've been interested in, in children's books for quite some time, and and uh, this is your second book now. Yeah. So how how did you get into children's books in general? Martins? Well, I've always wanted to make um, content. So like, as for me, it's always like I grew up watching Disney and you know Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, and I always loved the people who told stories for the majority, you know, there's one thing about telling stories at home, but then when you could tell stories to everyone in the world, mm -hmm. those are the best, those are the best ones. So one of my ultimate goals were to, was to be able to tell those stories to kids all over the world. And um, I like children's content because to me, it brings families together. Yes. So like a kid can't just go see the minions by themselves, right? A family has to, you know, mom, dad, or someone has to take them. So that's why I always loved children's content. So like a bedtime story, like, a parent has to read it to the kid. You don't just be like, here you go, you five-year-old kid. Go, good luck. Put yourself, bed, Put yourself to bed. Put yourself right? to bed. So I always love children's books because the idea of like someone sitting down and reading to the children, that interaction is an important one. So that's why I, I, most of the stuff I do is, is in the children's content space. And the AJ is your daughter? AJ is based on my daughter, and that's mainly because when she was born, and you really don't think about these things until you have your own kid. Right. When she was born... You know, trying to get children's books with characters that look like her, mm -hmm. there's not very many, you know? And then you start looking at it, it's like, man, there's this huge gap of representation for children of color to be able to have books or characters that look like them that wasn't focused on their color. It's just, just like really cool kids of color going on adventures, you know? So, and then you start watching all the content that's on television, right. whether it's like, like I was telling somebody yesterday, like in um, Frozen, there's not one black kid in Frozen, right? Arendelle is just Whitetopia, right? <laughs> By the way, that's the, that's the sequel of Frozen, White Whitetopia. White, White you just nailed it. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, and then you watch all these shows, so, and then think about going back to when I was growing up, I had the same experience, so I felt like everyone else already had their chance to create the content to do so, so if they weren't going to do it, then I might as well be the one to do it. How has it been received, Martellus? So I, been, I mean, it's been pretty cool. Like, people love it. It's still, like, building the... Because once you... The thing about children's con, um, characters is um, familiarity is a big thing. So it's, like, the more that you make and the more they get to see them, then the bigger it grows. Because until then, like, AJ has to compete with, like, Door to Explore, you know, and Doc McStuffins. So if you see AJ on the shelf and you see Doc McStuffins and with the children's the way it is, there's so much... The way it's marketed, there's so much of it that you're always going to choose Doc McStuffins before you get his new character a chance. And you can pre-order it on Amazon right now because it's it's coming out next Tuesday, right? Y yes. So you can pre-order on all sorts of ways online right now, and you can always get Hey AJ, it's Saturday uh, right now because that was released in 2016. Yeah, the, and I make interactive children book apps. So like the first app is free. The Hey AJ Saturday app is free. Mm -hmm online, I mean, on Apple Store and stuff, and then mm -hmm. a new app comes out on the 27th as well. That's fantastic. Thank you. So uh, what are you hoping to create with the Imagination Agency, Martellus? Me, trying to be like the Black Walt Disney, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 so, like, fantastic. I, I mean, I would, I would love, like, I'm fascinated by theme parks. I would love to have a theme park that you could go to. Like, I would love to have blockbuster films, films that your children, that this these children now will want to show their children in the in the in the future as well. So it's just like I want to be able to create the stories that could take people places that they could only go through my mind. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.